So baby come with me Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Permisi Maumaka! I'm Brian. I'm Ani. I'm Jem. So right now, we are at our studio residence. Take a look at our studio residence. Okay, so right now, we're heading to... Shamsui Mall. And in Shamsui Mall, we're going to eat at Dragon Center. So right now we're already at the bus station. What bus are we taking? We should take like two B or two F. Go to some people. Okay, then. Bye -bye. See you there. Bye -bye. Okay, guys. So right now we already drop off from the bus. We are at some people post office bus stop. The bus stop at the post office, and then now we're going to walk to the center. Okay guys, so right now we have arrived at the Dragon Center and the food court is located at the 8th floor. So right now at the food court there's like a lot of variety of foods. So Noni, what are we gonna do? Okay, so we will try to buy some foods and we will show you guys what food I will put here. Check it out. Okay. Okay, so usually this is my go-to when I'm eating at uh, Dragon Center. And I usually uh, order deep fried pork chop with rice set and the set is also included with soy milk. Uh, in this restaurant, uh, they sell a lot of uh, variety of foods uh, like spiced beef with rice and also uh, wonton and pork noodles. And you can also try the snacks, which is a scallion pan pancake and ba Beijing meat pie. Hey guys, so the food has arrived. So here's our food. What did you order, Noni? Uh, I'm ordering two dishes. This one is like, it's like a steam meat, I guess. And this one, this one is like sweet and sour pork. How about you, Chris? Uh, I ordered pork. Fried pork with rice sand, and it's included with uh, soy milk. How much is it? Uh, it's 33 uh, Hong dollars, oh, yeah. and they serve it with a lot of rice. And also, uh, the pork is crispy but not too dry. How about yours? How much is it? It's 33 dollars, and it's already included the soy milk, soy milk. So I think it's a really good bargain. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, I ordered like. Athena is like a pepper lunch, but it's like the affordable one, and and it's for forty four dollars with Sprite. Let me hold it. Yeah. Okay, so this oh. is my food. Okay. So for me, uh, the food is really good. Uh, just now, I uh, it has like beef, and I also have the big pork chop for forty four dollars. I mean, like. It's a pretty bargain price and I really like it because it tastes like pepper lunch but it's the cheaper version. For me, uh, this pork is very uh, tender, not, not too dry and also it's a great combination with soy sauce. How about you? For me, I think it's really worth it for like $33. I get the pork, uh, the sour and then I get the sweet meat. But I'm, I think the food is really good as well and the, the, like, the sauce is really So you finish your food, how would you rate your food from 1 to 10? So personally, I would think that Athena, I would give it like an 8 out of 10 because it's nice, it's good, and it's kind of cheap for me, so yeah. 
Oh, okay. For this deep fried uh, pork bicep, I will rate it uh, 8 out of 10. Okay, so for me, I think to compared to the price, I would give it like 9 out of 10 because like it's really good and it's really cheap. Okay, thank you guys. Okay guys, so right now, we just had our lunch and now we're going to... Cosway Bay. Bay. We're going to meet fresh and we're going to eat some... Desserts there. Okay, see you there. Bye bye. Okay, so now we have arrived at Cosway Bay. Bay and we're in front of the Mid Fresh. It's actually, I think, one of the best dessert place in Hong Kong. And so right now we're gonna going try to it. Try, try it. We're gonna try Mid Fresh. So follow us. Syrup. If you know the brand, it's oh, called. <laughs> Please insert the photo here. Please insert the photo here. And it's, it's called Ninjom Pei Yeah. Yeah. It's really similar. What parts do you like the most in this dessert? I like this pudding, this okay. yellow pudding, and also this jelly. Okay. How about you? For me, I like most like this the ice cream. Also the. I think it's mochi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. Happy eating. Happy eating. How's it? It's really delicious and I think the portion is really big so yeah. you can spit out your friends so 58 is not that bad and yeah in Indonesia we usually call like really good food is uh, enak, enak banget, banget. <laughs> yeah hey guys we just finished eating our dessert and look who's here can you introduce yourself Which is the vegetable and also the sambal. 
and as you know, this is different languages. One of the local dishes from India. Yay! So for me, I ordered nasi kuning. It's nasi kuning means like yellow rice. It's actually uh, rice cooked with like spices from Indonesia, and it got like uh, fried chicken, beef rendang, tempeh, and uh, fried egg with like. I ordered nasi campur. Nasi campur literally means like mixed rice. I think they also mean like they mix a lot of stuff such as like tempe, uh, fried chicken, also like I think there is like a little beef here and also like taro. What is taro by the way? Eggplant. Eggplant, yeah. And also I think they, this is like not plain white rice but it's like nasi guru which is so good. Like they cook it with like coconut and also there is like this um, telur balado which is like very good yeah. and basically all the same the vegetables. Yeah. So. Okay. And, and don't forget I also uh, okay. uh, ordered kotak which is the one of the famous drinks in Indonesia. So we're gonna eat now. Let's eat. Okay guys, so we just finished our dinner at Wins Indonesian Restaurant. So how do you like? I think for me it's 7 out of 10. It's just like, it's a bit pricey, but I think everything in Hong Kong, if there is a price, there is a quality. So like, actually they have pretty, a lot of like foods, but I think it's a bit pricey. How about you, Nomi? For me, I think I'll give like 6.5 out of 10, because I think uh, compared to other Indonesian restaurants, Quite pricey and the taste is like not that good compared to other Indonesian restaurants, so I would give like 6.5 out of 10. Uh, how about you, Jem? Uh, for me, it's 7 out of 10. Uh, I think it's good if you want to try Indonesian food or if you're an Indonesian and you're sick. Uh -huh. But overall, uh, I think it's a great experience. Okay, yeah, yeah, for me, it's uh, almost the same as them. I give them a 7 out of 10 in ratings because I feel like uh, it, the food is good but it's just kind of pricey compared to the other Indonesian restaurants. And this um, brings up. So, see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.